Welcome to today's class. Now, look at this question before us here. Square root of, under it, we have the square root of 147 plus the square root of 243. Without the use of the calculator, how do you evaluate this? Don't worry. It's easy. So let's do and start this. So yeah, let's take our solution first thing. Okay? So solution. Now, like I normally do in solving radical expressions of this kind, I hate drawing this square root symbol all the time. So I do a simple substitution. So from here, gotta say let um, let's take p. I like using p. Let p be equal to this expression, which is the square root of our square root of one forty seven, then plus the square root of two forty three. Okay. So we have to eliminate this big square root radical. So we take the square of both sides, then we call it and take the square of this. So this, this will lose. So we're not going to have our p here. p squared is equal to the square root of our 147 then plus the square root of our 243. Right? Good. Now, from here, we think of breaking this quantity down. We also think of breaking this quantity down. Now, can we use 2 to divide this? No, 2 cannot divide this. Can we use 3 to divide this? So we go with 3. So if we decide to go with 3, we're going to have here to be, let's take our, our 1, 4, 7. Then we have here 3. So 3 into 14, that will give us uh, 4, right? The remainder to bring the 2 to this side to give you 27. 3 to 27 will give us our 9. So 147 can be split into 3 times 4 to 9. So this is going to give us here the square root of our 3 times 49. Right? Uh, there plus we do the same thing to our 2, 4, 3. So 2 cannot go into this, but 3 can go into this. So let's split this. Here we're going to have 3, sorry, 2. We're going to have here 2, 4, 3. So here we have 3 here. 3 into 20. Um, Four will give us eight, right? So yeah, we're going to have eight. Three into three will give us one. So we have this can be split into three times our eighty-one. Now this is a perfect square. This is a perfect square. So let's rewrite this. Rewriting this is going to give us the square root of our three, then times our square root of forty-nine, then plus the square root of our 3 times the square root of our 81. So this will give us what? 49 is a perfect square. So the square root of 49 is 7. So yes, yeah, it's going to give us here yeah, 7, then root 3, then plus 81 is a perfect square also. So the square root of 81 will give us our 9. So we're going to have here yeah, 9 root our 3. So this is row 3, this is row 3. So we can add the two together, right? So if we add the two together, this is going to give us our 16, right? So we have 16 root 3. Third. So if we have this as 16 root 3, this is our final answer. But remember we did a substitution that brought this quantity, this variable p squared, right? So let's bring down this quantity here. So we're going to have here our p squared is equal to everything we have in here. So what we do at this point here, we want to eliminate this square here. So we take the square root of both sides. So if we decide to take the square root of both sides, we call it take the square root of this. So this, this leaves. So we're going to have our P is equal to, we just have to rewrite this because this is a perfect square. So we have this to be the square root of our 16 times the square root of the square root of 3. All right, so let's continue on this side and see what this gives us in turn. So, 16 is a perfect square again, so this is going to give us our p is equal to our 4 times, we just have to rewrite this square root of square root of 3. So, this is same thing as our 3 all raised to the power of 1 all over 2, all raised to the power of 1 all over 2. Again. Now, remember the law which says that if you have your, your a to the power of n, 
sorry, m uh, times n. This is same thing as your, we can equally extend this to any variable here, okay? So we're going to have your a, the power of your m, bracket your n, okay? So if we have this, we can use this to multiply this. So this is going to give us our 4 times our 3 to the power of 1 all over 4, right? Good. So in all, we now have this, our p is equal to this. So if we decide to bring our expression down here, so therefore, we now have this to be the square root of the square root of our 147 plus the square root of our 243. This is equal to our 4 times our 3 to the power of 1 all over 4. All right, so without the use of the calculator, this is the final answer that this will give to you. So it's a simple one. See you in our next class. Do not forget to keep winning.